My name is Lizzie Oglesby. I'm from Richmond, Virginia, um, but my favorite place is Deltaville, Virginia, um, actually a place called Fishing Bay. My family history is I was born in Richmond. Um, being from Richmond, Virginia, a lot of people say that you know they're direct descendants of Thomas Jefferson or they have some special family lineage and so that's the sort of thing I was always told but I can't prove any of it. Um, but my backyard would be Richmond, um, all of Richmond, the James River, um, all the beautiful scenic places in Virginia, I feel like all of it is mine. Um, but especially Fishing Bay. My grandparents bought some land on Fishing Bay, uh, right on the Chesapeake Bay. Before I was born, they bought it in the 40s, and it actually was a potato farm, all the land. And they, um, they bought three lots. They bought the one where the house is that I'm standing on. Um, they bought the one next door, and they bought the one across the street where they built a swimming pool. Um, I share this cottage where I'm standing with um, my family. Um, we split it three ways, my dad and my two uncles. Um, and one of the funny things they did, this is my grandparents' bedroom um, before they passed away, and they framed <laughs> my grandparents' um, bathing suit. So that's my grandmother's bathing suit. And then this is my grandfather's bathing suit outfit, uh, which is kind of funny. And you can see on the mirrors, one of the things my grandparents did is when they went to parties, all the parties they went to, they had to wear a name tag, and they stuck their name tags all over this mirror and we pretty much pulled off all of them because it was a full a full coverage of the name tags all over the border of the mirror um, but we saved um, a few of them so this one says hello I'm Bucky Harris that was my grandfather and this one says Katie Harris that was my grandmother so this is the kitchen of the house and as you can see it's pretty much the same as it was um, in the 40s and 50s. Not a lot has been updated. Um, and we think that's kind of charming. You know, so many people whose families built places here, they have spent a lot of money to upgrade their places and build on. Um, you know, when I was coming down here as a little girl, all the houses were sort of ranch style houses. There were no two-story homes. And now when you drive down the road, you'll see a lot of two-story places and so that's kind of goes into part of my hopes for this area you know this um, this little point of land that we're on um, Stove Point Road in Deltaville it's um, it's pretty fragile it's surrounded on all sides by water um, I mean it's not an island but it's it's pretty um, pretty limited the access um, and when hurricanes come through the water comes up over the edge and um, all the rocks, you know, come into the yard and people's places get flooded. Um, so I guess that's probably my, my number one hope is that this place stays around. Um, I think there's a lot of talk about climate change and a lot of talk about rising sea levels. And I just hope a hundred years from now that this little finger of land is still here. I'll show you on the map. So this is a map of where we are. And um, it's not marked because it's actually, it's, um, it's quite small, but you can see the Rappahannock River is here. So that's the largest river um, going out to Chesapeake Bay. And the little finger of land that I'm talking about is this little, this little piece um, that's sticking out. That's Stove Point. Um, so you can see how teeny it is in relation to everything else that's around it. and in relation to the Chesapeake Bay